get a this is the back of uh, one of the TVs that I found on the side of the road okay the previous person has gone through and he's taken the wire out of the TV and he's left the the TV part and then I so I've come along and just collect the um, collect the back I've got a couple of backs that I've got to process and a few other bits around the place when I I've got a little bandsaw when I it, it can't um, you can't take this big big chunk what I have to do is just like cut it in half once I cut it in half then I can then I can cut it up this is a bit noisy Right, there you go, there's two halves, well, not quite in half as you can see, but basically what you want to do is just cut in half, so then you can process it. By means by processing it, I mean... Cutting it up into smaller bits, or even maybe even smaller than that. That way, when you heat it up, you can just push it into your mold. Yeah. So, or if you just need a bit of flat, um, flat styrene. Well, that's not flat, as you can see. But the flat bit of styrene. This whole section here. That's all, all flat. all flat all you do is just cut that out and away you go right now I've got a couple more to do so I'll do those
what I'll do is instead of cutting them in half I'll just cut them into quarters as you can see they're dirty well that doesn't matter because when you put them wash them before you put them into your mold so yeah so that's easy enough to clean up well, now, what we'll do is we'll cut these in half again There you go. That's one. This is another one that I'd found. It's um, PS polystyrene. This one is a LG. Okay, so basically, when it when you cut it in half, you really want to just try it. Just basically try and go with what, like the pre um, predetermined holes that are already there, so you don't have to do as much work. <coughs> Alright, here we go.
Sometimes it gets a bit tough to cut. Most times what happens is that most power tools are just, or well most cutters just cut to, well most power tools run too fast. What happens is it just basically melts the plastic as it goes yeah so that's it you can't you can cut this with a um, regular saw if you like but yeah I just use this um, this power cutter it works all right I really need to put it on a bench bit too low the floor that is but anyway I'll continue just to show you it can be cut with a normal saw here's just a normal saw
you go. The saw you got to put a bit of effort in, whereas the other one, the the vibrating, the friction saw, don't need to put that much effort in, and it cuts it. So make your own mind up. All right. This one here was also found on the side of the road. This one was from a view 51 centimeter color TV. Sometimes you can tell whether the whether there's quality that was actually put into the mold. You can tell by the inside. If you have a look on the inside, most times what they'll do is they'll actually um, uh, display whether it's um, PS, polystyrene. But as you look over here, it's pretty pretty dodgily um, done. Just enough to get the, um, the mould out of the cavity. But yeah, normally you'd find that was <coughs> milled and polished to a, to a high degree. But this is just basically done just enough to get it through um, assembly. Because the outside looks pretty good. This is a, as you can see here, it's gone a bit yellow with age. So I don't know what year this is. No, no idea. But you don't necessarily have to use that top bit. Just basically what we can do is we can just cut that top bit off then and chuck the top bit. Just all the all the bottom bits are pretty good. All we need to do is just depend on how much plastic you want to keep. You can actually um, You can just cut straight straight down here and chuck the top. But then again, if you want it, if you're really wanting to keep it, basically what you do is just sand that and that should should come alright. But then again, who's got the time to be sanding that before they cut it up and put it in the in whatever they want to do with it. Alright, so what I might do with this one is I'll just basically cut it down here just get rid of the top because you don't really need that top bit or the bottom bits good enough for me <coughs> just cut along here the groove goes all the way down. Just use the saw again. Sometimes the saw is quicker. Riddle with age. It's all right. Once we get through the big bit, we can snap that off.
This one's also has gone a bit yellowing on the back here. Down to here. Been sitting in the, in the corner or near near a window. So the sun's sun's got at that. So basically what we might do is we just cut the We'll cut that section off as well. Yeah, so yeah, it's easy enough to do. When it gets a little bit like this, a little bit inflexible, that's when the um, the other one comes in handy. This one. Excuse the mess. I should have cleaned up.
Done. <coughs> Mold. What I'll do is I'll give you a demonstration of how I um, cut these quarters up. When you have all I've got here is I've got a little work zone um, bandsaw. Don't worry about this. This is where there's the safety on off switch was. When you know, what had what had happened was it broke. This was, this is an Aldi um, bandsaw. Other than the, other than the switch, it's fine. I've only had to replace one blade because I broke it. <laughs> oh, cutting plastic, of course. Here we go.
from the previous one that I haven't cut up. See? Got a siren here. Okay, here's the result of um, cutting up just the two of the um, two of the quarters. You get a fair bit of fair bit of plastic out of that. And I save the big bit of flat You can always use that for something. Otherwise, just cut it up. But it's a nice bit of flat You're gonna pay a few dollars for a piece of flat um, HDPE or even a bit of um, polystyrene so whenever you can keep the flat bits anyway, you know what I have to do now I'll either have to use it or store it see ya bye